Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash the like button and do subscribe. Personal reading link is in the description box below this reading. Um, all right, let's get into this, right? So a couple, as I was shuffling, two cards popped out here. So you're starting with the nine of wands here. Okay. So you're being very persistent in the month of August. Um, got some kind of boundary up of some sort. Looks like you, um, you're saying no to something here, but you're, you're being very, like I said, very persistent in, um, some particular area of your life. Okay. Um, I feel like maybe you, this is the wounded warrior card. So you've been through some kind of battle Virgo. You've been through some kind of fight, some kind of battle, some kind of war situation, situation, situation. You're not quitting. You're not giving up. Okay. You're, 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 a trooper. you're being a trooper here in August. You're, you're, you're forcing it. Your, your boundaries, your, staying consistent with something here. Okay. So also there is the seven of wands. All right. So the, the it feels like August is like, you're not quitting. You're not quitting something here, right? Real strong energy for that. There's something, I'm not exactly sure what you might be dealing with in August, but I feel like you have this great amount of power and strength to fight off or defend yourself from any kind of competition or um, to protect yourself. I see you being in like a very self-defense mode here. against anyone that is uh, any person place or thing that you might feel is trying to take you down like you've got a you've got a you've got a spirit showing up here <laughs> okay Virgo it's like it's it's good whatever the situation is you I just feel like you've been through some kind of battle you you've you're if there's a physical it could be a physical thing and it's like no I'm not quitting I'm not quitting I'm not giving up I'm going to keep going Yes, you're going to keep on going, and it's good. I feel like you have a lot of strength, even in times of adversity and struggle. So, you know, Virgo, I just feel like I want to tell you I'm proud of you. <laughs> Whatever this situation is that you feel like, um, if you have any kind of worry, if there's any kind of financial loss of any sort of uh, any type, it's like, no, you're not quitting. You're not giving up here whatever you need to do for yourself you find a way where there's a will there's a way and i do feel like this is sheer will let's see what else is going on here okay wow you have judgment this is amazing i feel like your message here is keep pushing forward don't give up don't quit Clarity is, is going to come. You're going to know. I feel like if you have, as you're going through this, the rest of this month of August, where you feel like you are like struggling or you feel like you can't do it or you, you're, do you know what I mean? Like even this guy here with the crutches, it's like warriors fight. And sometimes warriors take some hits. And there's that old saying, it's not about how many times you get hit. It's about how many times you can get back up. I feel like don't give up. Don't quit. Whatever you're being persistent in, in your life, whatever your boundaries are, you may have a, a sense as you're going through some kind of journey here, as you're on the path, that, that bit of a struggle, you might feel like, oh, no, I can't do this. I'm, you know you might need to lean on some people but don't quit because judgment is here this is like the final wake-up call like you're gonna know and everything is gonna come out that everything you've been doing or that you are doing this effort and this work and maintaining your persistence and your boundaries and and fighting off it's going to come full circle and there's going to be a big revelation. There's truths are going to come out. I kind of, I can't remember if judgment has karma attached to it, but you're going to get yours and it's going to be triumphant. 
there's triumph here. The music is going to be, you know, the music is going to start sing, like playing again. You know what I mean? I, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> this is a, like the, a final decision gets made. Your life purpose, there's freedom with judgment here. This is like an awakening happens here. All your, your good effort and all your good deeds that you're putting in, all your effort that you're, it's going to come back to you in a very good and positive way. In August, you're going to find out. You're going to see. So don't quit when times get rough. If there's a struggle or you have moments, maybe a financial struggle, or there's a feeling of like you feel ill, maybe physically ill, because pentacles can represent physical. If there's like ill, like health, like health issues, or if worry starts getting you, you know, you're worried about like, oh, you're not going to make it, you know, you, you don't know. You know, or this feeling of like you're isolated and you're just trying so hard. I don't lose momentum. Just keep it going. Like keep telling yourself, I just will not quit. Even when times are tough, no matter what, whenever when my head tells me I want to quit, no matter what I'm going through, it's almost like self-motivation or lean on people who are going to motivate you. If, if you have people you can trust that know whatever you're dealing with, that are going to be like cheering you on like no you got this you got this you can do this look you've got the sun the sun's going to come up on you it is it's good this is positive energy with the sun whatever you're going through here virgo i don't know it could be a career thing your health a relationship whatever you know your story but i just feel like this is a joyous outcome and success you're going to reach this goal Whatever you're trying to achieve, you absolutely are going to get there, 100%. You know, they always say, like, the path to success is not always linear. There's often three steps forward, two steps back. And if you got to take two steps back, that's fine. As long as you maintain your direction and you keep going and you're persistent even if you have days where you slow down a little keep going this is what i'm hearing you're going to come out on the other side of this the sun will come up believe me and shine down on you here so this is very positive i feel this is really good all your hard all your hard work and effort is going to pay off and you're going to start to see the results of this in august this happiness this joyousness um success Two major arcana, you can't change that. Let me see what else is going on here for you in August. Okay. An opportunity for you to look back on how far you've come. Yep, self-reflection. If you have the ability to self-reflect, self then you have empathy. If you have the ability to, to be compassionate with yourself, I see you kind of looking at yourself like taking a moment and being like wow the the star how the hermit holds up that star that's the star that's like renewal hope inner clarity a miracle having faith in yourself so you're gonna find out some stuff about yourself that you might not have realized and look back and be like wow i didn't know i was capable of doing this i didn't know i i didn't know i had this in me yeah so i mean this is really good this is really really positive for you virgo it feels like it's something really profound it really does it feels very profound you're going to be learning some things about yourself that you really didn't know or didn't think you had the capability of uh, or the yeah the capability of doing but i also feel like there's other people in your life who are going to be like what the hell how did virgo do that how is virgo able to just press forward a uh, little bit of an inspiration i see you being a bit of an inspiration maybe to a child or to people uh, in their youth connected to you I, they just this is like a comeback of some sort for you 
yeah, LL Cool J is like, yo, don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years. <laughs> All right, fine, dude. Chill. So, yeah, this is like uh, Mama Said Knock You Out kind of energy here, you know? You're, you're pulling up some kind of strength somewhere. Whatever strength you have, you're pulling it up and you're pushing through. And you're, you're showing up also as a bit of an inspiration. And Pete, I feel like there's someone or others in your life who, who are curious. So like, what? Like, they want to... It's like, I don't... They might... There's people definitely watching. This is like a breakout kind of a situation here for you. And there's like curiousness, gossip, spies crying people uh, pe people places or things you know uh, mostly people but it's like what like wh how how in the hell how the hell did virgo manage to do this you definitely got some energy of spying on you or watching you keeping tabs on you keeping an eye on you family definitely whoever you call your family or your soul child going to be very supportive of you they're going to celebrate your success i don't know who's who's watching you know whatever you're going through there might be this little bit of like you might have someone or some people in your life who they want to believe but they also might have some doubt that you're able to get to where you need to be. You might have some doubters. You might have some naysayers. Everybody's got some, right? It is what it is. But I don't feel like you're out here trying to prove anything to anybody but yourself. And th there, I see like some kind of party for you <laughs> for your six, maybe it's your birthday. Hey, something going on with your birthday if you're in August, an August Virgo. But I see a celebration, family, friends, some reunions. I see you being celebrated for, for some type of success that you reach in this month here. It's amazing. People are going to be very happy for you, but they're, they're kind of like, I feel like watching. The people who support you are going to be watching. Maybe you've gone through something before and you didn't quite make it and whatever. You went back on to something and you started over. But you somehow maintain this change and you're putting up your boundary and being persistent and fending off people or people placed and things they're trying to get you down. And so there might be some people who are like, you know, show me action, right? They want to see and they're watching to see. And the people who support you are going to be very celebratory about you because you do cross a threshold in August. Now, there's going to be another group of people who might be a little bit jealous, right? You know, come on, Virgo, there's, there's always some people who are going to be a little bit jealous of your success and a little surprised and watching. They might be watching to see if you're going to fail. I don't know, Virgo, I feel like you... You cross a threshold. You cross a threshold in August. And it's pretty profound. Might be a graduation. You graduate, you get a diploma. You you know, any any kind of big big ticket event here, I feel like you, you cross you cross a threshold. And it's like divine. It's like it was meant to be, because you have the eleven eleven here. Let me see what else is going on here. Okay, so you got the Knight of Wands. So yeah, look, your passion, there's some kind of passion streak. You you it's like you you get on fire for so you build up this momentum, right? You know, like when you start running. Like say you're gonna run a race. You don't ever start at the top speed. You start at zero and then you build momentum. So by the time you get to the, the cross, the threshold, the cross, 
the line, the end, what the hell am I saying? <laughs> you know, by the time you get to the end there, you're at top speed. And so like when you're running, it's, it's like, oh, you just keep going, just keep going, just keep going, building momentum, building momentum till you cross the finish line. By the time you cross the finish line, look at this, the Knight of Wands, you're on fire. You're, you're leaving a smoke trail under your feet. You know what I mean? You're leaving everybody in the dust. You've got this, this power, this energy, this physical, you get a recharge, like you're totally charged up here. And you keep on going. So you must be starting, you must be like starting off with, you know, starting, starting, you're starting at the starting gate is pretty much what I feel like is happening here. But as you keep going and keep building momentum and getting stronger and stronger and stronger, you actually free yourself. You actually free yourself because you just pick up all this momentum and speed. You're, you're not where you started. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I love it, Virgo. I mean, this is totally all about you, this reading. But there are, like I said, there, there, there may be, I don't know, the percentage of people who are going to be checking in just to see, like, you know, they could be, yeah, the page of swords, even though it's in the op, the upright, you know, it, it could be people who are very immature, just, you know, like checking in to see if you're still keeping up your boundaries and you're still pressing forward. Yeah, you're, are you going to get tested? Yes, you're going to get tested. You're not going to get tested by spirit. You're going to get tested by the evil forces, right? They're going to see, oh, yeah. You know, they're going to be looking at you like, oh, yeah, you think you can keep going? Well how, well, how about this? Perseverance, strength. Don't quit. Don't let any don't let any obstacles get in your way. And I see you like smashing walls here, smashing through something and coming out on the other end. And you have a lot of people as you know, you're running that race around the sidelines. And there's like you got to cheer. You got a gang. It's cheering you on. And celebrating you. Yeah, the world's in, in your hands here, Virgo. You can choose. Once you get to that finish line, because you're going to hit it. You're going to get there. You're going to be first one. If you're not the first, you're going <laughs> to... You might be the only one running your own race. And that's all that matters. Competing against yourself, right? Once you cross over that threshold, there you are able to now make a decision about which path you want to go because i don't know if you have a choice here i feel like the choice is is for you to in the beginning here set your course set your boundary and and stick to it and fight for it but once you once you get that trophy once you cross over that finish line then you can then you can stand there and and actually Say to yourself, you know what? I don't have to run anymore. No more running. I finished the race. Now I get to choose if I want to walk to the left or if I want to walk to the right. Now, because this is about choice. The two of wands. You know, waiting for your results to come in after you finish the race. Yeah, maybe maybe finish second. Maybe <laughs> next time you compete against yourself, you, you finish first. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Or you finish first, whatever. It's like, okay, now I can decide. I've I've completed this task. I've finished this thing that I needed to do. I've proven to myself that I have what it takes to go to the next level or choose a different path. The fact is that you have a choice. You're no longer gonna be in a position where other people are making the decision for you. It's taking control back of your life and your decisions and being able to have choice. Maybe you didn't have a choice before, but now you do, right? This is beautiful. Yeah, there you go. Now you can effortlessly
go towards and in the direction of your ultimate dreams and goals, whatever they are, right? Because you 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 finish something here, you complete this, you complete some kind of journey here, and you're successful. You reach the finish line, right? And you can move on. This is what I'm hearing. You can move on to the next level, to the next stage now. And you know something, Virgo, I like it. Because there's something here about your worth that you need to see or that you need to prove to yourself. And that you can you can turn around and if anybody has any doubts, you have something to show for your success. I did that. You can say, I did that. I worked hard for this. And I value this. You know, maybe you get that gold medal. <laughs> you know, maybe this Olympic reading. I don't know. But whatever it is, you get handed that gold medal. You do. That ain't silver, y'all. That's not bronze. That's gold. Okay, whatever you're accomplishing, or you maybe buy yourself a gold medal, who knows, but you should, if nobody's given you one, you should, you should celebrate yourself and reward yourself for crossing a threshold, you should, you should have a little party for yourself, or tell everybody around you, throw me a party, please, yeah, let's, or you don't have to throw me a party, just come, come to a party, I'm having a party for myself, that's right, I'm getting a cake, with right, congratulations on it, for me, you can have it for yourself, or you can invite others to join, or other people are going to celebrate you, right? But this is this is huge. This is profound. Whatever this threshold is that you're crossing, it's amazing because the Eight of Cups there. You're you're going after your Ninth Cup. It's it's there. Your wish is coming true. Material abundance, good health, full emotional contentment, and having emotional contentment. So I just kind of feel like however this relates to you in your life. In whatever way, I feel the need to tell you, like, don't give up. Don't quit before the miracle happens. Because the miracle is going to happen. You're going to be pretty damn surprised. And when it comes through, celebrate yourself. Or accept that, accept that medal. And even if it is a silver or bronze, it doesn't matter. It's okay. Because you, you, you will always have goals and things you can accomplish. And yeah, here you go. Putting up some kind of boundaries. This is the start. This is the start. Firm boundaries being needed now. And for some of you, that's going to take you having radical acceptance and surrender to help you let go. This is not just simple acceptance. This is radical. This is you. In order to succeed, you have to make a huge chess move. A radical change. So it's really, really positive. I, I just kind of feel like you're, you're winner, winner, chicken dinner here. As long as you maintain the course, trust the process, don't give up. You, even during the storm, keep pressing through. Don't give up. Because you're going to come out on the other side a winner. And all those people or anyone in your life who's waiting to see you fall... Yeah, it's this is this is a faded thing for you here. Okay? This is meant to be. Anyone who's who's waiting to see you fall or trip up, cuz like I said, there 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 are some immature people that might be jealous or you know, they're just nasty nasty. Um those type of people, they're not going to never let them see you sweat, but they're not going to see you fall. They're, they might be waiting for you to trip up. And even on your worst days, just keep your mindset positive towards your goal and what you're trying to accomplish here in your life. Right? So I kind of feel like um, <laughs> this feels like a very profound thing, you know, and it, it requires consistency. Could have something to do with your health, Virgo. Something in regards to your health. For some of you, it could have something to do with a divorce or a breakup and being persistent to not go back to it. 
or to just let it end so you can come out on the other side for some of you this might have something to do with um, communication maybe it's a job in communications or something to do with communications Some of you, there's gambling or, or problems with addiction, overcoming, or issues with bad finances. Yeah. So, I mean, like I said, there's a lot of different things. It's, it, it sounds very general, but I feel like you can apply it to whatever situation you're going through. Whatever it is, I feel like don't quit. Whatever you're trying to accomplish here, whatever your goal is, just keep going. Just don't quit. Just keep moving forward. Winners never quit and quitters never win. Is there anything else here that Virgo needs to know? Okay, King of Swords here. King of Swords is going to be coming in trying to offer some new emotional new beginning. Might have done it in the past. Looks like they're going to try and do it again. I don't know, Virgo. I kind of feel like I see you here being very different, to indifferent towards this, this King of Swords. Feeling like unfulfilled. No, nope, not wanting to accept it or just like seeing you have options and, you know, not interested in something a King of Swords has to offer. <clears throat> King of Swords, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Hmm. Yeah, because I feel like you have other, you might, you have other options and, and you, it, it's kind of like, Hmm. What the King of Swords, it feels like masculine and feminine is trying to bring in as a potential, but you're waiting for something stable or something more real. Do you know what I mean? The King of Swords is, uh, eh, you know, it could be a love offer or just trying to. I feel like when I look at this card, I feel like they're trying to get an emotional reaction out of you by by offering some kind of love, or not love, but emo like an emotional offer of some sort. But I just kind of feel like you don't want it here. I think you're like, nah, it doesn't mean anything to you or it won't. And I feel like a lot of it has to do with you prove something to yourself. You know what I mean? Like you're gifts that you give to yourself after that self-esteem after having accomplished such a huge task or goal is more rewarding to you than what anybody else can offer does that make sense because i feel like it's just it's it's like just, just something like it like eh, it's all right whatever i'm good i don't need it that's kind of what i feel like your energy is you know and over, even over here, it's like, I, I want, you put more, I want to say more value and importance on people in your life, like your family, your close friends. These are, these are people that have your back. These are the people that are, che that are cheering you on as you go through your struggle. I don't feel like this King of Swords, they're just coming in and say, oh, hey, congratulations. It doesn't mean anything to you because they probably weren't there through your struggle. Because they're just showing up now. They find out that you, you have some kind of success and some kind of win. And they try to give you like a little a little something something. But, you know, I, I don't think you place much value on that. Because they weren't there during your struggle. There's something here about quality over quantity. It seems to be more important for you. 
seems to be most important. Quality is more important than the quantity. And they're just telling me that. I don't I don't really know what that means for you, but I feel like you you do reach a place of peace, contentment. Definitely. I love this four of swords. This is healing. This is recovery. This is a renewed sense where you can actually sleep at night. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? It's just like it's a retreat. You, you're, you're obviously in August. It looks like trying to prove something to yourself, not to anybody else, but to yourself. And you accomplish this goal, whatever it is. And, I, you know, the emotional support is great, but you had the page of pentacles there. So it feels like you're more like, no, no, no. I if you want to support me, give me a gift. <laughs> Show me something. Give me something. I don't need your pat on the back. I didn't come this far for just a freaking pat on the back. I worked hard. I want that gold medal. Show me the money. <laughs> Doesn't have to be money, but you know, something tangible. I don't need a pat on the back. A dog gets a pat on the back. Yeah. No, 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 no. You want the reward. You want the real thing. A keepsake. Something for yourself. Pat on the back. Somebody coming in who isn't there for your struggle finds out that you've accomplished something and they just come up and they're like, hey, good job. They get the hell out of here. Doesn't mean anything to you. It's like, thanks, but go away. No. The people who are celebrating you, your success here, and they're going to give you, they're going to give you something to show their appreciation. This is show, physical show. Emotional is nice, but emotions are so fleeting back and forth. You know what I mean? It's it's not even, even if someone makes you feel good, that's nice. But, you know, I don't know. I just kind of feel like you you want some, like, you know, like when you, gra when you graduate, if all, you know, it's not that it's shallow, but like having that piece of paper, that diploma or whatever, that degree, that's proof that yes, you accomplished something. And that's kind of like what you what you're looking for, that certificate, that proof, that 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 tangible item. Imagine if you went all through your studies and then it was graduation day and then they called you up to the stage and they just gave you a handshake and a pat on the back and said good job. I mean, yeah, the the benefit is that yeah, you learned everything, but there's something nice about having that little proof you know and and that's what you want right so i don't know who this king of swords is to you don't know but they don't really hold that much value in comparison to your own personal value in august in fact you don't even see them you don't really even see them because you're too busy looking at your your gains here All right, so anything else Virgo needs to know? Oh, this just flew out. So I kept getting a fire sign showing up and I did put it back in tech. But mature, dynamic, fiery, masculine is going to be significant, positive vibes. This person's really gonna celebrate you big time. It's a Leo, it's a Leo. Oh yeah, they're gonna, give you huge it could be a masculine or feminine they're going to give you huge uh celebrate your success with you and really put in the effort to maybe throw you a party or show you how happy they are for you and for all the effort that you've put in material wish here right so i feel like it feels like a leo who's going to show up and give you this Material wish being granted, you know what I mean? That's like the Nine of Pentacles. There's a gift. It feels like a gift. It's gonna, it's gonna give you a, a really nice gift. Something that you've wanted for your success here. I'm gonna hand it to you. And then you have self. So you're ending with 
the hermit card, which is pretty much you, right? It is you. And this is about taking a look at yourself, adding up the pros and cons, balancing things out, reconcile yourself to accepting you just as you are, as well as those people who appreciate you. Acceptance is key, but radical acceptance. Don't beat yourself up. Live and let live. And just keep striving forward. If you're going to compete, compete with yourself. Nobody else. Anybody who tries to compete with you. Eh. Unless you're actually in like, like a, a formal kind of a competition. <laughs> you don't have to compete with anyone. And anyone competing with you is just weird. Right? Unless you guys have like signed up for some kind of marathon. You know? And you're in an actual race. Then yeah. You might want to take a glance over and see what you're your opponent's doing because obviously you want to win but if just in general in your life the only person you have to compete against is yourself and anybody who is trying to compete with you in general is insecure and they got problems point blank period so stay focused on yourself right that's karma right there you're, you're definitely this is a win-win for you here you got to win wins you can't lose this is what I'm saying you cannot lose. The only time that you can lose is when you're being dishonest with yourself and you're not being fair to yourself. That's the only time you can lose. And when you're out of balance. Be truthful with yourself. Be honest with yourself. Have cause and effect. What you do has consequences. What you do has effects. So choose wisely. But there's definitely going to be a truth coming out that you might even find out about yourself. And like I was saying, where it's like, wow, I didn't know I was capable of getting through this. I didn't know I was capable to do this. I didn't know I could accomplish this. I had my doubts about myself. I'm not going to lie. You're going to have those talks with yourself. But I got people keep telling me I can do it. I can do it. And they're cheering me on. And yeah, there's moments. You might feel like you just want like, oh, you want to quit. You know, it's self-discipline, right? Because everybody feels like they want to quit. Everybody goes through those moments. It's just hard to sustain the passion and the drive. It is for a long term. And you got to take your rests. But you that doesn't mean you quit. Rest just means, hey, I'm just going to run. Like, you know what I mean? I'm just closing my eyes. I'm not sleeping. I'm just closing my eyes for a minute. But when I close my eyes, I got my eye on the prize. I can see it. So you don't give up. So if you need to take your, you know, your little rest, that's fine. But don't quit. You're going to be successful. Whatever this is that you're trying to accomplish here, winner, winner, chicken dinner, Virgo. You can't not succeed if you keep going. There, it's impossible. When you're competing with yourself, you can't not win. If you keep going, if you're persistent every single day, you will have results. And all it takes is not listening to those emotions in you or that little voice that says, no, it's okay today. You can just sit it out or, you know, just, just, or forget about it. Because once that starts happening, then you start building momentum in a negative way, right? You can say to yourself, you know what? I'm going to just take a break for however long, but I'm right back up on the horse. Okay? Some, you know, you get, sometimes you're driving in that car, you're going that long distance, you got to stop, pull over to this truck stop because you got to use the bathroom. But that doesn't mean you're off your journey now. It just means you just took a sidestep, but back in the car and keep on going. So however this relates to you, please leave me a comment below and let me know if you wish. You don't have to, but let me know how this relates to you. How is this resonating for you? What's going on in your life where you have those moments or you feel like you might want to give up? What's going on and what's keeping you pressing forward to crossing the finish line? What's it going to take for you? What is the situation that's going on here? So I know it wasn't really a romantic reading, but I mean, I don't know what your 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 issue is. Maybe you have a, 
there's a like I said I gave you a couple of um, ideas here but there's definitely a major look here you go that major gift is coming to you that major reward look at the size of that pentacle in your hand like this is huge this whatever this is whatever when you cross that finish line I can tell you right now you're gonna have opportunities that you never thought you would have coming to you all on all fronts in your emotional life in your physical life in your in your intellectual pursuits in your creativity but you have to I don't know there's something here that you have to get to the finish line and I see you doing it so good luck Virgo I hope you keep that going all right let's just get a couple of uh so you have Gemini showing up here okay 1983 we have 46 64 87 43 August 26 September 6 someone's a nomad <laughs> Tony Anthony Hmm, Tamara or Tammy. Um, okay, I'm hearing David. I'm hearing Alan, Angela, Denise. I'm hearing Nicholas or Nicole. I'm hearing Olivia, Matthew. Marie, Marnie, Michelle, Tia, Monet, Fanny. Did I say Tammy? I think I did. Tabitha, Tim, Tim, Timothy, Timmy, Anita, hmm, someone's in Michigan, Denver, Colorado, uh, Missouri. Yep. Mm. Someone lives downtown. They just said downtown. <laughs> downtown. Someone's in, someone's a uh, Chinese. Chinese descent. Okay. Okay, that's all I'm getting. That's all I'm getting with that. All right, let's get a couple of charms. Wow. Shooting star. There you go. You guys see it? Yep. Shooting star. Don't you know that you are a shooting star? Yep. That's it. You might see shooting stars or meteors. Did we have a meteorite show or something? Meteor shower? Uh, a shooting star. You're a shooting star. Yes, you are. You're you're gonna you're gonna reach stardom, whatever this thing is. Whatever you're accomplishing here, top. You're gonna be like top notch. And uh, there are people, people gonna be watching. Some people don't think you're gonna be able to do this, and some people are cheering you on because they believe you can. And some people are gonna be mighty surprised. The four cups here that you um you got to where you need to be right you're gonna get a lot of like i'm just seeing you know how like the end of a show they throw roses on stage so if that relates to you in some way <laughs> um you're gonna get a lot of roses or you might receive a rose from someone okay maybe around your birthday or for your congratulations of some sort but you're also gonna have um so they're giving me this black smiley face so 
There's going to be people who um, are going to put on a fake smile, but there's nothing behind that. And the reason why is those people are jealous. They're going to be a little bit like are insecure, immature, you know, um, because they're competing with you, right? Those people, people are not happy with you, your success. It's because they're competing with you. People who are happy for you are not competing with you. <laughs> it's just the way it is. You know what I mean? So you're going to, you know, that's just par for the course. There's always going to be people with that, that black soul energy in them who are not going to be happy for you. Uh, they might come across like, oh, so, so fascinating. That's amazing that you did. That's great. I'm so happy for you. And they turn around and go behind your back and talk ish about you right and then there's going to be people who are just like just bringing you like a rose like i love you you're amazing i knew you could do it you're so special yet those are the people you want in your corner you know but the, the naysayers as well um you should keep them around too because in a lot of ways the naysayers just are letting you know that you're doing something right do you know what i mean Jelly beans. <laughs> the, the naysayers are. It just lets you know when they're jealous. It's like, oh, okay, I see. I got it. I got this. Because if I wasn't doing something right, they'd have nothing to say. Well, and then there's people who just will find everything wrong. So screw them. Right? <laughs> All right. So I'm going to leave that message there. Not typical message that I usually do. But leave me a comment. Let me know if you like this. Because this really wasn't about anything in particular. It was just very general. But let me know, you know, if, the, if you like this kind of reading. Instead of getting into all the deep emotional, psychological stuff in the relationships. I feel like maybe we should take a break from that. And focus on the overall energies. Right? So that's what I'm, that was my I was really trying to tap into that, like the big messages. All right, you guys, so um, personal reading link, description box below. Don't forget to smash that like button on the way out, y'all. Get that algorithm moving. That's how it works now here on YouTube. So I appreciate if you do that. Thanks, mods, and everybody for being in the chat. If you have recently joined my channel, let me just give you a quick shout out, right? So uh, we can all know that you're here. Uh, let's see, did anybody recently join? Goodness gracious. Dorothy Kirby, welcome. Holly Woods, welcome. DC Limitless, welcome. Rocky Mills. Okay, a lot of you have rejoined because somebody might have, I think, gave out the um, gift membership. So whoever did that, thank you. Uh, Melly, of course. Arquita. Jason. Persephone. Ralph K. Lori. Christopher. Amelia. Yes. All right, you guys. So I will see you all. Oh, I forgot I have a Pepsi here. I need to drink this. It's diet. So don't worry. Um, I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. All right. Love you. Take care. My heart rages around like an ocean. That I lived I am